guest house with sewer rats. We're about to figure it out right now. All right, guys, I'm headed to a call where a pest control company's been dealing with this for almost a year and can't figure it out. They highly recommended us to the clients and they feel that uh, it's gotta be sewer rats. So we're about to show up and confirm that and hopefully solve the situation. So stay tuned. So here's the main house. Here's the back house here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm Jimmy, nice to meet you. Hey. So this is the, the main house, the this guest is, house. This is the problematic place. The, okay. It's very problematic. And uh, how long have you had the issue going on for? Is it? For a year maybe. Okay, you've yeah. had a couple of pest control companies out. Oh uh, no, one? we just had this one just pest the control. One. Yeah. Okay, and they're the ones that referred us. Yeah. Okay. How many bathrooms are there? Two bathrooms. Two bathrooms, okay. Yeah. They've sealed everything up, correct? Yep. Well, I hope so. <laughs> and they've been at it for about a year now, and so finally they've determined that, hey, it's possible sewer rats. Yep. Okay. We bought this whole property about two years ago. Okay. Uh, this was built in 2006. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's got its own address, uh, own electric box, so it's, okay. it's, it's, it's all it's like... Individual. Individual yep. permitted and all that. Okay. Yep. So behind here is where you're hearing them? Behind the furnace? Behind here and then in, inside the... Uh, so you're hearing them in here and here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And when was the last time you heard the the, sh the moving, the scratching? Uh, last night. Last night? Yeah. Okay. We found a way to go through the ga uh, gap here. Okay. In. in. Yeah. So they were on here? Yeah. Yep. So you saw it? Yeah, I okay. saw it. Okay. Okay. I saw it with my own eyes. So we have a bathroom here. And what's behind here? Is this bedroom? Uh -huh. Bedroom? Okay. And closet. Okay, there's the access right here. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're gonna get set up inside. Hey, uh, Enrique, Victor, just yeah. so you guys know, they're hearing a lot of activity in here and in here. They've opened this up. The other day, the guy said he saw a rat come through here and crawl right up into here. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be our hot spot. And then there's also inside that room there is a closet with an attic space. Okay. Looks like there's a hole over here too. They covered up. Yeah. Okay. Cardboard. They set a glue trap up here too. I see some wire mesh up there that uh, another company did. However, there's a big gap right there. They tried their best. There's a vent right there. I'm gonna go do a sniff check there and see if there's any type of signs there. I think it's broken. All right, we're gonna go ahead and introduce the smoke. So here's the closet. Definitely clean. It's too clean, sir. So we're doing a light test outside. So let's head out there and see what that is. Where was that, Enrique? Scissor. Oh, okay. Hey, Jim, we're getting smoke. We are? Oh. Mark saying we've got smoke coming out of here. There's a bathroom. That crawl space is full of smoke for sure. I don't know if you guys can see that. We're getting smoke. I just, it's such a tight crawl space that I'm trying to get my inspection in I put the ferret camera in there earlier, but uh, I'm not seeing any breaches quite yet. Just want to make sure that it's not the wax seal too, because a lot of times these are false negative if the wax seal is not sealed all the way between the toilet and the floor. But we're not getting any smoke inside the bathroom, which is a good sign. Usually if wax seals have a breach, we're going to get the bathroom full of smoke. And we're, in this case, we're not getting that, so. 
something is going on here. Something isn't right here. This is behind the uh, oven here, this which one. backs up to that bathroom. How oh, isn't that peculiar? If that isn't suspicious, I don't know what the heck is. So as you can see there, definitely a breach there. The other pest control was right. Looks like it's sewer rats coming in there. It's all localized right here to this bathroom. They're hearing the noise in that same area, so it's all coming together. We're just now trying to get the approval if they want to go with us to open up the floor and actually get down to there, but that's going to be up to the client um, to make that determination. So our technician, uh, Mark, is dealing with the uh, with the client right now. Fingers crossed. All right, so the client just gave us the okay and the approval to go ahead and open up the saltillo tile. What we've determined to do is this, let me show you. We're gonna remove the washer and dryer because it's easier to open this up and that way the new tile versus the old tile out here, it won't matter so much. So we're gonna open up here to give us access into that crawl space. Smart thinking, sir, very smart. Enrique is gonna go ahead and start the containment process. We're gonna do a door containment. Raul is disconnecting all of the plumbing. He is looking at one. Yeah, right here too, look at, see? The, uh, yeah, you can see some droppings. Some droppings back here. Man, that's gross. All right, so the washer and dryer is disconnected. We're gonna relocate this bad baby. All right, so we're getting the containment up. So you can see the washer and dryer is completely out. We're gonna open up this corner right here to gain access in the crawl space. Hey, this is a shout out to Home Shield Pest Control out of Los Angeles that referred us. So just wanna do a shout out to you guys and uh, express my gratitude. Appreciate that. So Victor's building a containment over here. So that way we can be fully prepped to demo. What's great about this is that once we build this containment, cover this, we've got the outside here. So all the dust and debris will go to the outside. Convenient. It's gonna be super interesting once we get into the crawl space and see what we have down there. There could be several breaches. I was asking, well, what if we do this repair and the rats come back? And we get that question a lot. It just depends on once we get down there and we see the aggressiveness of if it's just one breach or if they're chewing, then they may have to go with the option of a sewer blocker. So, but we won't know that until we get down there. So we'll be getting down there here in about uh, 45 minutes or so. Getting closer, getting closer. Everywhere, you guys. Yep. There it is, right there, guys. There's the breach. You can see the rat grease there on top of the pipe. We're gonna place a rag inside there and then introduce the smoke, make sure we don't have any other breaches. A few moments later. All right, we actually got a gym cap capping that off, tightening it up and then we'll reintroduce the smoke. All right, so you can hear the smoke. We've been running it for a good 10 minutes now. We're not getting smoke. I had one of the team members go up in the attic and we're not getting any, any smoke. So that was the issue right there, guys. Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Please did it, please did it, please did it! So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna cut that two inch straight because that gym cap didn't work, you guys. That's why I had to shove the rags in there. But I'm gonna cut that two inch, put a two inch female adapter with a male galvanized plug so they don't chew right through it. So that'll fix that there. But uh, yeah, we're not getting any smoke. This crawl space is clear. Well guys, that was a pretty awesome find. We had to open up those floors in order to gain access, but in order to beat these rats, that's what it takes. 
Leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching this episode and we'll see you on the next one.